I'm back. Rudrance for the Matrix and Road Show. And the one thing I am here for is absolutely to watch DC Comics go straight down the toilet with this woke bullshit involving Superman. And it seems customers, fans of what once was a proud superhero franchise, they have spoken by way of comic book sales. Because they have t- sent a clear signal. We're not buying your woke crap Superman comic since you decided that you wanted to make Superman's son gay. These comics, a lot of these characters, particularly like Superman, where Superman grew up in a blatantly conservative kind of environment on a farm with Jonathan Kent, etc., etc., People that pass down their fandom to their kids, their kids are rejecting this crap. Why? There's just certain upbringings and people out there that do not agree with having this politically charged social justice crap in their comics, and they're just not going to have it, and the sales reflect it. Let's take a look at this. This is OutKick. Apparently, comic book readers don't like woke characters either. We've been trying to tell the MCU and other studios that forever. Looking at you, Lucasfilm. According to Bounding in the Comics, December sales data shows that readers are rejecting DC Comics' new woke Superman. DC recently replaced Clark Kent with son, his son, Jonathan Kent, who then falls in love with a man. What? John is also now a climate change activist. Christ. Because that's always key in fighting bad guys. And finally, DC changed its motto from truth, justice, and the American way to truth, justice, and a better tomorrow. You want to talk about sounding gay. Uh Oh, offended? Too bad. The word American is an offense, obviously. As Trump once said, everything woke goes to shit. Just look at Superman's recent comic sales for proof. The much-hyped first edition of some Superman's Son of Cal l sold just 68,800 issues in July, well below previous estimates. The book ranked as 17th best-selling comic of the month, 17th. The comics recently released third issue sold 34,000 in September. The 77th best-selling comic of the month, 77. Bounding in the comics made a comparison between other relaunches of Superman. That's 68 1,800 number for the first issue is even worse when you compare it to previous Superman number one issues. When the series was rebooted by uh, Brian Michael Bendis took over the title back in 2018, Superman number one sold 133,700 copies. In June 2016, when DC relaunched their entire line with DC Rebirth, Superman Rebirth number one sold 118,434 copies. And Superman number one sold 105, 380,000 comics. Wow. When DC rebooted their entire universe with the new 52, in September 2011, Superman number one sold 118,376. Wow. So DC killed Superman. That's crazy. YouTuber, quote, Comics by Perch, reports that Superman now is effectively dead. DC is merely a Batman brand with no second attraction. This is what's amazing. Pay attention, DC, for crying out loud. Of DC's current top 50 titles, 48 of them are Batman books. But will Batman last? Or will Bruce Wayne's pro-abortion, anti-racist, triple-vaxxed, double-masked son, who puts he and they pronouns in his bio, replace him? Question mark. 
So DC better start recognizing that a lot of these products, they're family-oriented products. You still have kids that are reading them, and of course, a lot of these fandoms have been passed down to our, our kids below us. Our kids were raised with our principle and our mindset, okay? And that is very important, particularly, and I've said this about Hollywood, comics, Lucasfilm, you name it. They have decided to leave behind, I believe, a very valuable member of their customer base, people in the South and Midwest with more conservative value sets. A lot of people... A lot of rural areas, they go to church, there's Bible belts, and there's certain things that were, they were raised, we just don't want to, we don't want to see that in our products, okay? Yes, yes, whether you like it or not, keep it traditional. Uh, traditional things are very important to us, plain and simple, whether people like it or not. And people will bring in race and everything else when you start talking tradition. No, it's got nothing to do with that. But there is a, a set mindset, value set, morality set from a large, large portion of your customer base. You don't take Superman's son and make him gay and expect to continue to sell the same amount of comics. In fact, in this case, your sales were cut in half. Why make a social and political statement in comics? Just keep making comics the way they have always been. Plain and simple. Plus, the children that are readers, you automatically got them banned from these comics. Their parents are not going to let them read them. Period. They're, they're just not. It's things that we're not subjecting our kids to, whether you like it or not. Doesn't matter. Um, I don't care if anybody thinks I'm off base on this. Plain and simple. I mean, look, I know a lot of people with a lot of kids in that eight-year-old range. Not a one of them are going to let their kids read this comic. Not one. And by the way, that's on bipartisan, uh, on a bipartisan political st scale. See, a lot, of, a lot of people don't realize that in places like Texas, a lot of Democrats are very centrist moderates. Uh-oh. Whoops. We're even alienating them. That's a thing. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. <laughs>